How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so last time I said this one was going to be about living alone. Um, so as I think I've probably mentioned uh, at least once in one of my previous vlogs, I do currently live alone. And even as part of my home owner journey, um, I'm still going to continue living alone. I'm not moving in with anybody. You know, I'm, a whole big part of that journey is that I am doing it myself, for myself, by myself, um, pretty much. <laughs> with, with a little bit of help from parents, but, you know, other than that, it, it's all about me and, and living alone. Um, so, at university... Um, this is going to be a weird jumping around sort of one because I haven't really prefaced why I'm starting there. <laughs> um, at university, obviously, my first year was in student accommodation in, in halls and stuff like that. Um, and then in my second year, or coming into my second year, um, all the friends that I hadn't made very many friends, you know, being an introvert and all. Um, but the two friends that I had made that could have moved in with me, both decided that they were going to drop out. Um, and the third friend, the, the wonderful Jade, um, she continued to live on campus for the, the rest of the time that she was she at uni. So I couldn't exactly move in with her either, unfortunately, um, which left me in a bit of a conundrum. Um, so me and one other girl that I sort of knew, uh, both tried to, to get in and, and fill up spaces in, in other houses where people needed um, people. <laughs> um, but in the end, um, through that sort of process and kind of a bit by chance, um, I ended up becoming a lodger um, in, in the home of uh, a, a very nice uh, couple who actually owned some of the student accommodation that some of my fellow students were moving into. Um, so I kind of class that as my sort of first time living alone, yes, okay, um, the area that I was in was connected to their home and I did sort of see them on and off, um, qu probably quite a bit more frequently than I've usually seen my landlords. <laughs> um, but I was perfectly, you know, I was a, a very unique student that decides that they're going to live on their own. <laughs> Ah, the strong power of my introversion. Um, but you know what, it was absolutely fine. I, I didn't mind it at all. I liked the freedom. I liked, you know, not having to share the space. <laughs> I liked knowing that other people weren't going to steal my food in the middle of the night, which happened whilst I was in the student accommodation more than once. And it was like weird stuff that would disappear as well. So, yeah, in, in, in certain terms, you know, me living on my own, as a student, probably wasn't the greatest idea in the world. Um, in terms of, you know, I it didn't exactly leave me with more than one university friend, but the one university friend that I've got is an amazing person. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs loads of people that you don't really talk to? Um, so after that, um, I moved back in with my parents, um, or my dad and my stepmom, uh, when I came back to my hometown. Um, and then, for reasons, um, I ended up having to move out um, whilst I was still not working. Um, and I had been working, for reasons, for the bad company that I was working for. Um, I ended up not working anymore and during that phase where I was trying to find what, what essentially is my job now, um, so between that first first job that was so stressful, I don't really want to go talking about that one, um, and the job that I do now which is <laughs> comparatively the best job in the world <laughs> when you compare it to the previous job. <laughs> um, so like between those two, those two things was when I did move out, um, which shouldn't have made me financially better off, but it, it did. And I, you know, I was lucky that my my first official landlady um, post university 
will somebody that will take you on job seekers and someone who will take you on housing benefits um and that did like it shouldn't have made me financially better off but it really did fortunately i got the job that i'm in now very shortly after that i think um i think i moved out in the may and by the june uh, by the end of june i was working for the company i'm working for now so that's like six weeks in no, that's that's nothing when you really think about it. In fact, that move was probably one of the best things I could have done in terms of so many things. Um, so yeah, um, I lived on my own for just over a year um, before a fellow colleague who hadn't been working for the company for very long, but who I got on with quite well, was kind of like you know um i'm currently living with my boyfriend who i'm not totally into and i'd like some freedom and some space because we're living with his parents and um paying rent as you know pay, paying rent between two people rather than paying rent as one person is you know it's going to be cheaper it's going to be more affordable so you know she encouraged me to move in with her uh that did not work out very well <laughs> really did not work out very well um for lots of different reasons um but as a result of that i ended up going from the nice penthouse flat that we rented together um so this is like the first move that i made at post post moving out of parents place this was the first move that i made um so i went from the nice penthouse uh, flat that we were renting together and it was technically penthouse penthouse flat and it was it was nice it was well it wasn't fantastic there were lots of things about it that weren't great but it was nice enough but I, I went from there to living in a room um in a share house i do not like shared house living at all i really really don't it's not for me it really isn't um and I think that that sort of comes down to that that definite introversion that I have. Um, I don't find it comfortable sharing space with other people <laughs> that I don't know very well. Um, and I, and with that, it does clearly come down to that I don't know very well because I was okay. The move after that, living with the ex and his friend, that didn't bother me so much. Um, but I felt like I had a flat in that situation whereas I felt like I had a room in the other situation and I spent a lot of time in that room because I didn't want to socialise with the people that I was living with. There's nothing against those people, they were perfectly nice people, it's just I I wasn't choosing to live there because I wanted to be living there, I was living there because I had to be living there and those people just happened to be what I had to put up with as a result of doing that and as I said they were perfectly fine people, there was nothing wrong with them. It's just, it's not a situation I would ever choose to be in. Having said that, I know a lot of people who that situation is absolutely fine for, that they get on really well in that situation. My younger brother, for example, has done the whole shared, <laughs> the shared living thing a number of times. And it, it, he's always been, he's not always had like the best experiences with it, but he's never been put off by it. Um, whereas I was very, very put off with that situation. It just was not, it's just not for me. Um, so anyway, then moved in with the ex um, and his friend, and it was a it's damp flat. It was a very damp flat. Um, there, there was not ventilated particularly well. It had high ceilings. Um, it got very cold in the winter, and the friend wouldn't put the heating on because the boiler was in his room. And like the previous winter, he was like, I, I don't know, he didn't want to put it on because it cost us more in gas. And it's kind of like, yeah, but in return to that, you have a warm flat and less damp. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I was in there, I came to living here and then I've been living on my own now for almost two years at this point. Um, yeah, huh, long time. And I plan to keep going on living on my own. Um, it doesn't bother me. It's never bothered me living on my own. I like kind of setting my own pace. And, you know, 
even when I was living with with the ex and even when I was really happy for him to be around because I was you know because of the way that that situation you know ended um I it wasn't you know because I didn't like him being around um it, it was for, for different for di very different reasons um but yeah even though I like the ex being around and I enjoyed spending time with him I just as much enjoyed spending time on my own <laughs> I just as much enjoyed the freedom of being able to come back and there not be anybody around and be able to just do what I want in the space and not feel like I had to answer to anybody and that's very much what I like about living on my own um that's not to say that I can't live with other people. It's not to say that I can't accommodate the needs of other people, um, or that I won't do that. Those do so happily, um, you know, maybe in the future. But there's something so freeing about just, you know, walking into space and going, okay, I don't feel like tidying that up right now. The only person that's going to bother is me. Okay, I don't want to do X, Y, and Z right now. The only person that's going to bother is me. Um, not having to cook for anybody else uh, so not having to worry about what other people want for dinner just kind of going okay i fancy doing this now and i'm going to eat it at this time because that's when i want to eat it <laughs> <laughs> to hell with your needs um so yeah i it's not yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so yeah, I, I mean, I do get lonely living on my own. That's part of the reason why I do have my adorable little Gerber girls. Um, because you, you, you know, I, I'm a, a human and humans are by nature social creatures, even those of us who are very introverted. Um, we are social creatures. We are designed to be social creatures. So you can't not get lonely living on your own. Um, but it's that that loneliness isn't like crippling loneliness. It's not a oh I really really wish I was living with someone else. It's kind of a it would be nice to see people more often, and they're not actually getting around to do it. Um, I mean I do you know there are people I speak to online quite regularly. Um, I have my adorable little Gerber girls which keep me company. I see my mum on a regular basis. I also work in a customer facing position. So I'm around people a lot. Um, so it's not a case of I'm isolated, as I'm not isolated. Um, and most of the time I don't really feel that lonely. It's just every now and then it's kind of like, oh, it'd be nice to have some company right now. And then feel absolutely exhausted at the thought of having company. <laughs> This is why I live alone. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I know living alone isn't for everybody. I know the idea of becoming a homeowner on your own isn't for everybody, but it is for me. It is. It suits me and who I am right now, um, and who I have been for the last few years. Because even when I've been living with people. I've always enjoyed the time I have in that space on my own more or as much as I've enjoyed spending it with other people. So depending on who the person was, obviously. Um, so yeah, living on my own, it's a good thing, I think. <laughs> she says, uh, okay. So I hope you guys have sort of found this one interesting. Um, next time I'm going to be continuing my home ownership journey. That's only because I know there's lots of stuff that needs to go on now. So I know there's going to be stuff to, to keep talking about and whatever else. Um, yeah, everything is sort of happening in a much shorter space of time than I thought it would be. There may actually be more than one home owner journey vlog next month because of it uh, it all depends on how things shape up and ship out um if you know if they take a bit longer than expected then that won't happen until 
the next one won't, the, the fourth one won't happen till August, not August, or uh, April. <laughs> the fourth one won't happen till April. Um, and if things go as quickly as they could go, then yeah, definitely expect another one next month. At the moment, I've got something else penciled in on my lovely calendar, um, which I didn't switch over to March. So you guys know I'm filming this at the end of February. <laughs> Although, if the top didn't give it away, it's like I'm filming it like right after I did last week's. <laughs> you can see that my brain is still a bleh, right? Um, okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Hope you're looking forward to the next one, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!